So let's do this. Okay. So your heart is a periphery to the stomach. My heart is what to the stomach? Periphery. It is like a, a periphery? Peripheral part. Right? So your your stomach is here. Right here. Your heart is in the yeah. periphery of the stomach. Okay. Right? Yeah. Like a kind of aura of the stomach. Okay. Their neighbors. Their neighbors. Yeah. Right? So lo the, there is a lot of things like if something is back and forth here, it is going to change a little bit in this area too because your stomach is the production of the kapha. Oh, okay. And heart is located into the kapha location. Oh, okay. So that's why this is an important one to understand, to practice and um, being like more about aware of the things, what you're doing in your physical practice. Not the meditation practice, not the chakra practice physical practice, asana practice, or subtle asana practice. So what is the kapha doing from my stomach to my heart? What's it doing to it? There is the kapha production happening inside the body. You said stomach. Not I say, now you know it too, right? As you learn Ayurveda. Well, this is pitta, this is kapha. But you were saying the stomach affects the Production of, we are talking about the production now. We are not talking location. We are talking production. Production, production of the kapha is in the first part of the digestion, which is in the stomach. The production of the pitta is in the... The small intestine. Yes, which is the production of the pitta. Right. And the vata is in the... Coast in the colon. Right, okay, so you're saying the, the kapha, which is produced here, is moving into my heart area? There is a relationship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because your kapha has a direct relationship with the plasma tissue. Okay. And your plasma is creating the blood. And yes. the blood is pumping out of the heart. Right, okay. That's why there is a connection. Now I get that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Right? So the connection, for that connection, we are going to learn some of the uh, practices where we are, we are going to uh, work on the intercostal area of the thoracic cavity. Okay. Okay? So for that, sit it like this. Your left heel is bottom and your right heel is above. I can't sit like Okay, that. that's fine. Just sit it like that. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Um, then I will also do in this one so that you okay. you'll be okay. You will not be confused there. Okay. Okay. So now uh, bring your both hands here, mm -hmm. interlace them, and move to the right and the left, right and the left. Okay. Yeah. What does this do? You feel it. I will explain it later. Put it on the body. Hand is on the body. Yeah. Good right and left you're moving at the lower abdominal area okay so 15 to 30 times right and left movement very good now come to the stomach yeah stomach a little above oh, yeah yeah okay same thing at the stomach level Right and left moment. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Okay, then come to the heart level. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are nicely palpating on the heart and do the right and left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now put your two fingers on the on the ribs. Okay. The thumb is on the ribs and open up your shoulder elbows. Open up. Very good. And move to the right and left. 
So you know the 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 tip of the thumb, you can put it around the breast area, close to the nipple. Right and left, right and left. That's a murmur point. Oh, is it? Ah. Oh, okay. So that's why. Okay. Then come to the pit of the throat. Open up the elbows. And put it behind the head and open up the elbows. That's good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now you bring your right hand up, left hand down, push it and hold it. Stretch in between nicely. Release it. Inhale, left hand goes up. Hold the sky. Push the earth with the right hand. Stretch yourself, extend your spine here. Hold and release. One more time. Push and hold. Push and hold. Release. Push and hold. And release. Good. Mm -hmm. So once you are done, now you bring your. Um, fingers into rest here okay. now we are going to do the full flow here okay so from the bottom to the top okay so okay. now okay. you are you are going to move to the right to the left slowly slowly keep it close to the body very slowly you are not just going up one by one vertebrae you are trying to go up you got it mm -hmm. one by one vertebrae mm -hmm. Back behind the head, hold your neck here, open your elbows, go slowly up, up, very slowly, same thing, one by one by one. Have a nice control on your muscles. Bring it close, go down the way you came up. Like this. Okay? Got it? So you start from the bottom? Yeah. At one location? So when you're doing it, you're thinking of the chakras in the first one. Okay. In the second one, you're going all the way that one. Okay. Got it? Yeah. That's what the healing is. Yeah. And what to do? <laughs> I mean, I can feel it opening up, mm -hmm. you know, and making it more. So there is a connection between, there is a, in Chanaka Samhita, in Ayurveda, um, we, there is a chapter called it as a three marma attack. Three marma means three marmas. Three points. Three points. Yeah. And then here they are talking about a shira means head, rude means heart, and basti means kidney. So they are talking about these three together. So with this action, yeah. because in Ayurveda, these three things are uh, very deeply connected. Okay. So if something is happening on the heart level, Ayurveda says there might be something happening maybe on the different levels of the body. Yeah, okay. Different places of the body. Right. Because when we do that, you are going on the all the three. Right. Qigong is like that too. They really connect the heart, the kidney. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the way, one of the way of doing that. Okay. Um, um, uh, the body level. 
another one which we can do here is like sitting like this. Mm -hmm. Make a fist here. So your thumb is coming at the base of the pinky yeah. in the Vajrasana. Make a fist. Put it here. Remove the skin and put it nicely at the mm -hmm. crease. Mm -hmm. Your uh, your fingers, uh, your palm is facing to the belly. Okay. Inhale here. Look up chin up. And when you exhale, you slowly, 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 along with each breath, along with each breath, you are coming on the forehead on the ground. Inhale. Look up, chin up. Hold your breath. Exhale. Lead with your heart. Lead with your heart. Look at me. Lead with my heart. Okay? Very good. Forehead on the ground. Do not lift your heels and your butt connection. Inhale. Lift your heart. Reach up. Look up. High and reach. So each of these you can practice five times each or ten times each. Which was each? Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And from here, you go on the belly. Lean on. Put it on the ground. Make sure your whole body is nicely intact with the ground. Now, here we are, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, come into the cobra, okay? So, we do know baby cobra. So in the baby cobra, what we do, we generally go until the collar bones, okay? Whereas in the cobra, you go a little bit like above the collar bones, okay? So I will show you all the variations here, okay? So here, bring your hands next to the breast, okay? And in the baby cobra, you inhale and you lift until the chin uh, and until the collar bone. Look up. Your vision is over the ceiling. The what is over the ceiling? Vision. Oh, vision is up to the ceiling? Yes. Okay. Okay. And release. One more time. Inhale. Look up. Hold your breath. Exhale. This is first variation. Now in the second variation, you are going a little bit further. Inhale and lift. And lift your hands and your legs off of the ground. Look up, chin up, over the ceiling vision. Release it. This is the cobra. So let's practice cobra one more time. I got it right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Inhale, come up, hands off of the ground, legs off of the ground, cobra doesn't have hands and legs. Look up, vision is over the ceiling. Release it. So you do this five, ten times, okay. whatever you can. And then from here, inhale and lock your elbows, look up. Your elbows straight? Yes. Is your is your hips down? No. Off of the ground. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> hips up. Off of the ground. Look. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Inhale. Your elbows are next to the body. Look up, chin up. 
your, in, your belly is engaged, feel it into your core, your hamstring, your glutes, they are nicely squeezed. Okay, holding my breath. Yeah. And exhale. One last time. You do it at your own. Okay. Pace. Okay? Because everybody's inhale capacity and exhale capacity is different. So, you listen to your own body. Open up your elbows. Lift your heart up. Chest to the sky. You felt it, right? Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's all good, yeah? yeah. So now bring your arms out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now bring your right foot, right knee into the belly. Right knee into the belly. And see if you can grab your ankle. Once you're done here, holding properly, you inhale here in the center. And when you exhale, your chin is on the ground, you're bringing your right ear lobe on the ground. Slowly come up in the center, inhale, chin in the center, and release your right leg. Into the T again, adjust your body. Now left leg, inhale and bring your left leg, your left knee into the belly, close to the belly. Good? Mm -hmm. When you exhale, bring your left ear lobe on the ground, your chin is always intact with the ground very good look at the hand look at the tip of the fingers nice too and release it So this variation also you can do like three times each side or five times each side, okay? Mm -hmm. And from here you come into the child pose. You come up into the child pose. And open up your arms.
and slowly one by one by one you have to do and come up okay so this is one set second set i will give you five minutes to remember the things if you want to make a note on your book you can do it did you oh you didn't bring a recorder on there okay i have the recording you have the recording i have a recording for you but i want you to write down if you remember it oh i see okay. yeah okay and then that i will go to the heart openers I don't know if I can remember. Do you come on, you do?